Hello guys and welcome back. It's been a couple of months offline and that's because I've run into a few problems with my designs. If you've been following me on the web page or Facebook you'll have seen that I've spent the last two months designing the complete cockpit down to every screw and that's to prevent exactly what happened with this version here. Version 2 was short-lived because it just wasn't going to work. I built the side walls, I built the MIP, I went to join them together and I finally got around to making the windows which is always the hardest part and I created templates. It's normally the easiest way to do it so you measure the you get all the correct angles you measure them out to the exact lengths and you end up with a template like this and when I put it on and then I put the side walls in there was no way I could get the side wall to meet the windows and then the the sidewall windows to meet the front windows, which, is mean, which has meant some major revisions. It means the whole glare shield assembly here has to be redone. Off it will come later. The sidewalls need doing and the windows will need redoing. But I never actually got to make them anyway. First up is to rebuild the glare wings. I'm back from inside. Here are the first four CNC machine parts. They need a little bit of sand. This time I remembered to put the holes in for the mounting screws. So all I've got to do now is countersunk each of the holes, attach them in pairs because these pairs need to be sanded together and give them a quick sand with the orbital sander and see how they look. Hi guys, hello and welcome back. It's been two weeks since I started cutting these on the CNC and if you've been following on Facebook you probably understand that I had a problem with the Z-axis on the CNC machine which created a lot of problems. It started to create cuts that were very rough on the edges. And a bit of a disaster, that's going to take a lot more sand in than what it would normally turn out like which is very smooth and just very faint lines on on each piece. So it's now time to assemble these, countersink each hole, put them together with screws for the time being and then sand them into a shape that will fit the MIP. You can see I've marked one, two, three and those three holes offer long screws to go through both parts to hold it to the glare wing assembly. All the other little holes that are countersunk, they're now to attach the two parts together. The reason why they're in two parts is because my CNC machine just isn't big enough. They can only achieve a maximum cut of 42 by 42 centimetres and I think these are 42.9 centimetres long. So I've had to cut them in half and join them together. So I'll bolt these together, pin them to the glare shield assembly and see how it looks. And there we have our very first glare wing assembly in rough sand. Obviously it's got a few gaps in it, it's because the screws haven't gone together properly. But all in all, it looks a lot better than version 2. And more importantly, it's got the slight slope, the angle towards the window which will allow the window to fit nice and tightly against it like the real aircraft. On top it's got the nice concave slope to allow the front windows to fit exactly where they need to be. Just another one to go. Now it's time to take the version 2 glare shield apart. Take the two glare wings off, disconnect all the electronics, centre glare shield with its lighting panel needs to come off and then all the wiring behind the MIP needs to come off and transferred onto the new glare shield when we've built it. Thank you. 
oh wow again I'm absolutely surprised with how heavy they are. I'd best not cut the wires. Hopefully this last screw and the whole assembly will come off. like so right let's turn it around and have a look okay so the panel is on the glare wing should I say and I think that's gonna look quite good more importantly as I keep mentioning it's all about this slanted side here so it allows the window to fit correctly coming in here that's the plan anyway. Just about to cut the lower glare shield assembly. It's what the EFIS units sit on. Now the rear frame is actually quite complicated. It's got five different angled cuts on it. So I've set the table saw to the first one and that's just to set the slant that this goes back towards the MIP. Well, I've got this far, I'm two angled cuts down. Got three more to go. Hopefully, I won't cock this up. Here the plans printed out for the next section. So first of all, I need to cut another bit of hardboard up. Hardboard, hardwood, another bit of hardwood up. I've just taken the frame out of the CNC, here it is. Just want to round over the edges to make it look a little bit neater. Onto the MIP side walls now to set it at the correct angle. The old MIP was set at 15 degrees, but I've recently been told the real thing is set at 17 degrees. I've now screwed the first MIP wall onto the second bit of wood, and then I'm just gonna whiz round the outline with a flush trimming bit on the router table. That way I'll get a perfect match. That's both side panels on now. I think I'm gonna make the backboard as well. And that'll add us some extra strength to support the system. Especially as I need to take this out, this is the old FMC. I still haven't made the new one. All the angles are wrong. So uh, that needs to go, and that's actually what's supporting the, uh, the whole MIP at the moment. So I'll get the back in, and then I'll be able to bolt it to the base, which means I can move it in and out of the house when I need to. I've made these 30 millimeter square blocks and they're going to sit on the outside and just add support to bolt the rear frame into. Hello guys, it's day three. I've just finished work and now it's time to start on the front windows. Here's the plans. I need to draw them on this 18 millimeter MDF and then cut them out. Drawing the template for these windows has been an absolute nightmare. I tried it four times on the 18 millimeter ply and it just would not match. So I decided 
this is never going to be good enough because I need to make two. So I decided to get some 3 mil MDF and then draw the template on that. And what I realised was on the previous set of plans, I'd rounded everything down to the nearest zero on the angles and that was leading me astray. So I went back inside and kept the decimal point there. And when you do 108.9 or 102.3, everything matches up perfectly. So that 0.3 of an angle was absolutely essential in getting the right dimensions. So now I'm gonna cut this three millimeter MDF out, use it as a template so I can flip it over and make two windows out of one. And then they should be identical. So let's see if I can cut this out nice and neatly now. And there we have the template. Now to copy it across to the 18mm MDF and cut her out twice. Well, I can tell you that was an absolute mission, getting all the angles correctly on that. Obviously not have you only got the top angles here, but every surface has a different angle on it. I'm just using a circular saw, it's very hit and miss. But here we have it, here's the two window frames. Now I've just got to cut the centres out where the windows would be. Hopefully, it'll go pretty well. Finally, here's the first window frame. It's really heavy at the moment. As you can see, I've applied the, the router guide trim around the edge here. This whole centre bit should be then cut out in a second and hopefully that'll make it much more lighter to handle. The hole here is obviously for the, to get the router started. And doing it this way, I should then be able to produce exact measurements for the next one. And that way, when I get to cut the glass, they should be identical. That's the plan, or should I say that's the theory? Over to the router table. Well, apart from the sheer amount of sawdust that that creates, this is the view from the inside, and as you can see, it's produced quite a good cut. And best of all, it's even got the radius corners that I require, and they are perfect. If I show you, that's what they should look like. And just to finish off tonight, if I've got time before the sun sets, I'd just like to build the centre beam to hold them together properly. Good morning guys, it's a beautiful day here. It's day four of the build so far, of version three should I say. And last night you saw me cut the centre frame here on the table saw. However, the light faded, but I still continued. Moving on to the next section now, and that is to hold the windows up together and that's the upper sill where the overhead sits. That's it all marked out. Time to do some cutting. Here's the upper sill, all cut angles correct now. And just to give it some extra reinforcement, I've got a piece of hardwood that we can screw into. Hopefully with the same slope, we'll go there and there, and then we can screw directly through the windows into the hardwood itself.
And there we have it guys, I fitted the glare shield off camera, it was just a few simple cuts. It's now on and I think the front, the front chassis is pretty much finished how I want it. I'll give you a quick guided tour, but for me, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Bye bye.